All right, welcome back to The Garage on 89.7 FM, and it's my pleasure to announce that I have Jay from Friends or Rom. How's it going, mate? It's going very well. How are you? I'm very good. It's very nice to meet you over the phone. Oh, uh, yes, you too. Um, I actually tell a lie. I'm not that well. I'm ha- actually in the middle of moving house, which oh, really? is a giant pain in the nuts. Well, that's all right. Well, I won't take up too much of your time then. I'll let you get back to that soon. No, I want time. I don't <laughs> want to be doing it. Fair as long as you need. Well, maybe we can chat for an hour about your Let's music history. It. All right. Please. Well, um, anyway, the main reason why I wanted to chat with you was because you're coming over to Perth, where I'm from. Yes, correct. So I can't wait. February I can't next. Get there enough. Yeah, February in 2019, next year, as we're talking right now. Um, so yes. it's just a couple of months away. But um, yeah. I was thinking, maybe asking you, do you have any really memorable experiences of, of Perth that kind of stick out in your mind? Oh, my goodness. I'm not sure how many of them are legally um, allowed to really talk about. <laughs> Any PG a lot of ones? Ongoing, a lot of pending court cases, <laughs> a bit of a media, media blackout. Um, look, uh, Western Australia, I think Western Australia might have been the uh, time when uh was the Perth Big Day Out, oh. 2003, I want to say. Yeah. And, Do you remember the headline um, of that year? Um, I can't remember the headliner, but I reckon the Deftones played. Okay. Um, and uh, the reason I remember that is because, um, we had a song called Ball Chef. Yeah. And, um, Lindsay, our guitarist, um, mentioned on stage that the Deftones, um, ate balls. <laughs> and, you know, it was a joke. It was sort yeah, of yeah. A, tongue in cheek. It was tongue in cheek. And we had been sort of inserting different, um, uh, American band names in there at, um, each different day. And, yeah. Um, and yeah, they didn't like that at all. And mm. they uh, sort of cornered me afterwards oh, dear. and um, and threatened to shoot me. <laughs> wow. It was, it was very uncomfortable and awkward. Gee, I, I don't know if that's, uh, if I'd call that, well, I guess it is memorable, but uh, memorable it for was. I'm still different reasons. By it. Yeah. I can barely, I can barely go to Perth now. I was actually reading um, on the web. Did your drummer break his arm in Perth last time you oh, came? Oh, jeez, that happened there too. Why are we yeah. going back? <laughs> this place is cursed. Oh no! Um, no, it's great. And that show actually—I mean, it was terrible for him. Yeah. Um, was that like halfway through a set? It wasn't even. It was like four songs in. Wow. And um, and he decided to stage dive and break his arm because um, apparently he's a massive idiot. <laughs> so. Then after he broke his arm, we're standing there and looking around all these people going, what do we do now? And um, <laughs> He just did a Def Leppard on it? And I was like, does anyone play drums? Oh. It turns out a bass player plays, plays a bit of drums. Yeah. And he played some drums. A couple of other kids got up and played some drums. Um, I tried to play some bass, realized that I couldn't even play some of our simplest songs <laughs> on the bass. But the crowd sort of willed us on. And yeah. we had the night of our lives. Wow. Not Gordy so much, um, <laughs> although he was on the green whistle yeah. that the, he got from the ambulance. But um, it was uh, it was quite a time. Mm, very very memorable, I guess. Absolutely. Now, um, so you'll be back for two shows in Perth. One of them's called Friends and All Fest, and yes. the, the looks, other one that looks killer actually. Yeah, it's got some really good local Perth bands on it. I don't know, you might have heard of the Decline or. Couple of others of on there, yeah. So that'll be yeah. a really cool lineup. And we're bringing over, um, <clears throat> I believe, the Flangipanis from Brisbane. Yes, that's right. Yep, they'll be back. Nerdlinger from wherever they're from, Sydney. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, and yeah, a bunch of bands. It's gonna be good. Mm. And uh, the Newport Hotel in Frio as well. You'll be playing there the yeah. night after. Who needs to see Ozzy Osbourne and Judas Priest when you can see the Flangipanis? I know. At the Newport Hotel. <laughs> I was gonna talk to you about that too. I was gonna bring up Download Festival, which you guys are playing. As well, yes. not here in Perth, obviously, but over east. No. Um, so no, to be honest, you're not missing anything. We're not missing out on Ozzy Osbourne, like maybe last time he plays in Australia ever before he dies. Yeah, no, or will no, he live no. forever? I don't know. Yeah, no, he he's not worth seeing these days. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Judas Priest, who cares? Yeah. Come on. Well, there's plenty yeah. of other good ones on there, like uh, you know. Who else was on there? Rise Against, I Slayer, think. Um, Slayer. Slayer. Yeah. I mean, they've, they've seen their day. They've had yeah. their day. Due to, yeah. Who else? Anthrax. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who cares? <laughs> yeah. I'm saying that to hide my excitement yeah. about 
you know, how planes always dance. But um, it's, uh, yeah, you're not missing anything. Don't worry about mm. it. I wonder if you do any sort of sly comments on stage about Aussie or Judas Priest, you know, you'd have a similar reaction as the Deftones. I don't know if you should well, try it, but... Yeah, so you're suggesting, yeah, that I put myself in harm's way once more. Could do. I mean, I'm thinking that when we're in Perth, we should do an entire Ozzy Osbourne mm. set, or like a download set, yeah. where we only play covers from all the bands that are playing download, mm. and that way... We get a taste. people of Perth yeah. um, will only be 95% disappointed <laughs> instead of 100%. Yeah. Well, if you get the time to practice any of those songs, you know, we might have an inkling of interest in that. So maybe just keep it in the back of your mind. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Yeah. Breaking the law, breaking the law. It's going to be good. And now, um, you also did a tour in Europe recently. Is that right as well? Did you get back from that not long ago? We did. We did. The surprise in your voice is correct. Yeah. How um, was that? Was that... the hell did we do that? Yeah. Uh, it was actually really good. Um, uh crowds over there, um, albeit slightly smaller than the Australian crowd. Mm. Um, they only like our most recent two records. They could really? not give a rat about anything released before 2011. Wow. So we just played those last two records, the Fat Records ones, and um, and people liked it. Yeah. We played a festival in Austria, the Skate Punk Festival. Um, oh, that would have been And it was with uh, your Mill and Collins and your, your anti flag, yeah. and cancer bats, and that sort of thing. Um, and that was a good time. Although we stayed in a hotel that was partially demolished. Wow. Um, That's so punk rock. It was a bit. Um, they gave us the keys at the festival, and um, KJ from this band called Chicks Dig It, who was playing, um, came up to us and goes, oh, I stayed in that hotel last night. There's mm. literally a crane with a wrecking ball on it out the front of the hotel. Half the hotel's demolished. And the crane started up at four in the morning and he's yelling out the window going, I'm in here. <laughs> um, and so they didn't they didn't demolish the rest of the hotel. And then we came the next night and walked in and it was bizarre. There was no staff in this hotel at all. Mm. Like zero staff. We were the only people in there. And um, it was uh, pretty nice. Wow. There you go. Nice. Cool. Well, make sure if you're listening that you get some tickets or get down to one of those Friends of Rom gigs here in Perth. It's the 16th or the 17th of Feb in 2019, the Friends and All Fest at Civic Hotel. I think Hotel. we should change the name of it to um, Download Fest. Well, you know, maybe you guys are many, headlines. So how many people would go. I know. Well, maybe, um, you, do you know, have you spoken to the guy who runs it? Matt Hatton, his name is? Yeah, no, I haven't yet, uh, but I think he'll be happy with this idea. Yeah, I think maybe um, when you speak to him next, or when yeah, you speak I think to we'll him, yeah, we'll keep the we'll keep the venue. Yeah, at the Newport, um, but call it the Download Fest. Mm. Well, it sounds Massive. like a good idea. It would we'll it sell would... fifty thousand tickets. Yeah, I think you can only fit a couple hundred in that room, so we'll yeah, perfect. <laughs> we'll <It'll> see. Be packed. <laughs> All right, it's been a pleasure talking to you, Jay. Cool, man. You too. All right, I'll leave you to it, and I'll let you go back to your moving house. Cheers, mate. Thanks a lot. See you later. Thank you. Bye.